my name is Tony Blanc, please, and I'm making this video uh, because of our course at Utrecht for object-oriented programmers. And this is our first assignment in which you're basically to create a simple program that um, reads some user input and uh, prints out values that um, are stored in this uh, basic class of that. So this project has two classes. We have a game class and a player class. Uh, in addition, we have adventure.cpp, which is just the entry point for this program. It creates a game object called a constructor, and then tells the game to uh, run its run its play command, which uh, play method, which will loop until the user has to exit. This is the game's uh, header file. We have a header safeguard, so that was the defined model for N1. We have an IO stream include to handle user inputs, and then we are also including the player header file in here. Uh, we're using namespace std, so we don't have to prefix uh, string variables um, with an std. So um, game is a pretty simple class. It has its own constructor, destructor, and then the play method that is the main loop of this whole program. Um, if we go and look at the game.cpp, here we have the constructor, which is std, and destructor likewise. But here we have the main loop. Um, in here, we create a new player, which could be included in the constructor, but since this is such a simple program, I think we can just leave it here. Um, and we have an input, which is a string input which is used later when the game is looping. So uh, we have our introductory uh, method here, and here we are calling a static method of the player class with uh, our new object telling it, uh, asking the player to fill in some basic data that can be used. And here we call the object own print summary a function which prints out the values that are stored within it. Um, and this is the main loop, finally, uh, which keeps repeating until the user, uh, it reads the user input and when the user has written in, uh, quit, uh, it will exit, otherwise it will just say it does not get it, <laughs> right. Um, if we go to, oh yeah, and I want to mention because we're creating the player object with a new call, we also need to delete it here or otherwise we're creating a no loop. So uh, here is the player header file. Um, once again, we have IO stream and string to handle uh, user input and string functionality. Constructor, destructor, and here are the member variables. They are prefixed with an M, uh, which is uh, used sometimes for uh, member variables. And here we have a member function, which reads the object data itself and the static function that takes an object and fills it uh, values with something. Um, the constructor initializes the member variable with values so we don't get any nasty errors when we want to access them and haven't actually uh, input any values in there. The destructor is empty at the moment. Uh, this is the function that uh, asks for the player byte. I mean information, uh, it takes a pointer to a player object and uh, basically here there's a list of things we want the player to input. Um, in actuality we should have many checks that the given um, values are correct but uh, it's not really the point of this lecture so I'll skip that part. And here we print out all the values and well to be honest I think that's pretty much it. Uh, after the initial values, the game will just continue looping until the user types quit, by at which point it will remove the player object and then um, close the game here. Alright, I guess that's all. Thank you.